to the ministry. If they have released the money to the, uh, the accountant general's office has released the money to the ministry, where is the money? That's the question. For, fortunately, we came with the details. How monies were paid, who it was paid to, we came with it and it has been submitted. No, so please. To to that. Yes. The question is, the monies for these contractors, 2023, yes. was the money appropriated for released to the ministry's account, yes or no? The money that yes was Yes or no? no? I cannot answer yes. Yes or no? That is the question. Was the money released to the ministry's account, yes or no? From the account and yes account? or no. Okay, don't worry. Because the money was say, not fully released. That they have done a job, they've delivered, and everything has been signed, but they, they, they did not pay them. I think one woman was even said in that clip that he borrowed five million for the bank and he supplied items to the Ministry of Women's Affairs, but he delivered, they signed the documents, and money has not been paid, and she's still paying interest on that money. So it catch my attention because when we are trying to uh, support, our local suppliers, when we are trying to encourage our people with this current situation of people in Nigeria, we are still having this kind of situation. And the money has been released from the Atlantic General Office. I think it's not fair. I think we need, to, we need to get more explanation on that and to know the reason why the contractors, more especially somebody that borrow money from the bank to deliver a project, because he knows the project is coming from the federal government and he delivered the money has not been paid, and it continues to pay interest. And there is not going to be a review on that project. And the government has paid the money to the account of the uh, of the commission of the ministry. I think we need to we need to get to the root of that. Also, it's on the news that the the, the account and general wanted to take over the payment of, as the honourable colleague has said, payment of all the contractors. This is going to cause more problems. And because of all these challenges that we, that we see everywhere, that was why even somebody have that impression, can move that, uh, that idea that, that all the MDAs, all the contractors from different MDAs be paying from a source, which is going to cause more problems for Nigerians. I think uh, what is all doing, what we, what we need to do is just to, for the ministry to come open. If there's any challenges, why they have done this, if there is any issues, why the reason why they need to, why people need to deliver the contract and their money is not being paid without any explanation? I think we need to, we need to, we need to find out from the ministry. And I believe by you hear the word women, and you hear the word ministry. At least we people expect that as the ministry representing women and children and the family. We should be compassionate. The ministry should be compassionate in their dealings with the contractors. It's on. It's on. So when we got, when we were here last week and we heard of the untold hardship that the various contractors were going through, their families, because when they are not paid for work jobs they have done, the rebounding effect is not only on the contractor, but also on the families the various families that make up the, the, the components of the families of the contractors. And with what the ministry staff were telling us yes, last week was, it was a funny scenario. And we're here to represent the interests of the team in Nigerians. That's what they elected us to do. And that's why we're legislators. We can't see things going wrong. We're not enchanting anybody, but we just want a, a viable green ground whereby we know that the aspirations, the needs of our Nigerian populace are met. And we can't, sit, we can't be here knowing fully well that there are some people that are going through turbulent times with the kind of situation we have in the economy today. Thank you. Thank you very much. Enenimiete Ebikake, representing the good people of Brass Nembe Federal Constituency from Bayesa State. Honorable Minister and Permanent Secretary with DFA, I, last time when we came, that was on Thursday, we did raise an issue of um, African First Lady Peace Mission Project. Unfortunately, we didn't get any cogent uh, uh, um, um, 
answer to the issue and it was carried over to today. So now that we are here, Honorable Minister, could you please educate the committee on the functions of Africa First Lady's Peace Pro Mission Project, taking into cognizance of funds allocated for the project in the past. Year 2020, 500 million. 2021, 225 million. 2022, 500 million. 2023, 150 million. Where is the office situated and their organogram? 150 million Naira was appropriated in 2023 Act. Throw more light on how the money was expended and on what projects. The committee is aware that equipment has been purchased and supplied to the above name office, but payment is here to be made. Honorable Minister, could you please explain? Then let me go further, furnish the committee with the following information. Award letter, bill of quantity, details of contractor, evidence of payment, and project completion certificate. Thank you. Thank you. There are so many other questions that came up before this. And they mentioned what have we been doing that, uh, like the honorable member, the other side said, he said that women are very important in Nigeria. What Sorry, madam. Sorry, just answer this question. The question she asked, please. Okay, you mentioned about uh, First Lady's funds. The 5,500 million you were talking about, I wasn't there when it happened. When I came in, I saw it on the um, Appropriation Act. And I went to my First Lady, we discussed, she said that particular money was not meant for her, that it was meant for the former First Lady because that was when that money was uh, allocated. And I was, uh, the first, uh, former First Lady later called me and uh, said they wanted to use it and buy generator. And in the process, she was out of the country. It took her a while. She came back, called me, and she brought the person that was going to come and organize on how they would get the, the generator. And I introduced that person to the procurement officer then, who is now retired, so that they could work it out according to the rules and regulations of procurement. And they've been on it. Once in a while, I talk with the First Lady to find out what's going on, and that's the, the last I heard of that. And if not that uh, the money of this year has been delayed, I'm sure we wouldn't be here today because we could have paid out some of these uh, liabilities. But since this year, no project money has been released to any ministry, and that was a constraint. Okay, thank you. I think that matter is 2020. You dispose with public funds. Mm -hmm on First Lady's issue, is it not so? The office pays, was it not paid with public funds of the Nigerian people? Let the director of the woman, uh, your ministry, because you said, the, the, you said this money is for the former, the First Lady told you that it's for the former First Lady. And, uh, are you saying it was the former first lady that requested that the money is going to be used for the generator or this current first lady? Like I said, I have to explain myself, sir. Okay. Please give me the opportunity. Okay. Okay. Like I said, I'm not accountant to know how much cash they have in their uh, bank uh, statements. All I can see is the appropriation paper, the budget. And it was right there in the budget of last year. It was there. Sorry, please. My question is: the first, the, the money was budgeted by the last first lady, and they met. Oh, it was you budgeted by the ministry. I, I, don't, I don't know about you know, the you first know, I'm lady what, I'm speaking based on what you have said, and you said when the first lady contacted you, and I now ask you: is it the former first lady that contacted you that the money is going to be used for the generator? or not? Because that's what you said. No, sir, that's number please. one. Sorry, sorry. Let me just finish. Second question is. If either the first or the last first lady, did the request for the generator go through the uh, uh, normal uh, procurement procedures? Yeah. So if that one, if it is so, who approved that this should be, should go through that process? 
Let so me let me start by uh, by still I, I can't even remember the first question. That's why I wanted to answer it. Was it the last post lady that requested that the money should be used for the portions of the generator or the current first lady? It is, it is difficult for me to equally answer this. The director will come up with it. The important thing is the monument for the first lady's uh, mission. What was no, requested? No, Madam Minister, just a minute. He asked the question. Just answer. It's a, it's a straightforward question. Is it the former one or the present one? Is no, no I, I can't answer that because I don't know who requested it. Was supposed to go to procurement. You said Sorry. one first lady called you. Can you confirm who called? One first lady called me. Uh -huh. I called. I called. I never said a first lady called me. Please, ma'am. I said I called to say this is what I say I saw on the appropriation paper. That was what I said. Sorry, sorry, please. Let me okay, just finish please. my question. Remember. Oh, but it's not. No, that is not. We it's not. This 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 meeting is not to instruct anybody. It's just for us to know what is happening and how the ministry, how Nigerians, how the public uh, service have been using the the the, the taxpayer money of the people. When you are speaking, you said the money meant. When the honourable member has question, you said the money meant for the first lady. And when you came, they said that money, that money, so, so that the money uh, that they call you that the money should be. Never said it was meant for the first lady. Excuse me, ma, please. Let me not be misquoted, please. Okay, okay. You said you said the money was used for the generator. I never said that. You people were not listening. I said when I saw for first lady's mission. That was the name okay, of the operation. The money is used for what? what? Maybe that, you can I don't again. know whether Maybe you repeat what No, you listen. Can I yeah. don't know whether it has been used or not. We directed them anything that will be done is supposed to go through procurement, the normal process. And okay, they were thank you very much. I don't know. What I, do minister, even meet, thank you. I never even met the please person minister, handling it. Minute. I don't know who the person is. Procurement officer, please, can you come in here, please? 23 appropriation carry. First lady job was procurement focus was carried out on the project. The project was awarded, but I don't know. They have no. It is ongoing. Is the award, minister aware of the project or not? Yes or no? Due to the process of the ministry, you only aware in the beginning. Yes or no? I'm not, I, I don't know. <laughs> I, 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 I am not getting very comfortable anymore because I don't even understand this question. The procurement do their job. I don't get myself involved. It's supposed to go through the normal process. And that normal process, I, I believe that's what they're in. Whether the minister knows this or not, I don't understand that question because let me explain myself. I don't get myself yes. involved. Madam, I hold don't on, please. get myself involved. Okay, Mr. Officer, finish your explanation, please. Use your mic. Use your mic. The procurement process was carried out on the ERGP. Award was made. <laughs> Africa Peace Mission. Africa Peace Mission. The end user, that's the secretariat of the African Peace Mission, they wrote to us signify what they want to use the fund for. And we carry out the procurement process on it. Yeah, but hold on. You are, it's the best, the, there's an office. The minister said she doesn't even know the office. Is there an office? You said yes, there's a secretariat. Yes, 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 a secretariat. Okay. And the minister does not know the place? It's, it's relatively new to know. Something. Okay, go ahead. Am I, am I supposed to know the place? Am I? It's not necessary for her to know. It's just a document that. I have to be right There's a document there. sent to us from them, and we work on the document. We carry out the procurement process through the advert and the winner and match. We procurement. awarded it. Procurement, please, one minute. Eh? I'm surprised. Uh, that's not a question that's supposed to come from you. Because this thing is budgeted for in your ministry. You bring up money to do something, and we should know where the money is going to. Is it too bad for us to ask that? No, we should know. No. Please, please. I want to. I want to. I'm still on. This is Minister of Women Affairs. I can tell. 2020, you have exonerated yourself. 2021, you have exonerated yourself. 2022, now 2023. Where is the office? You cannot be taking out money. You cannot. Somebody cannot tell you to buy generator. Where are you taking the generator to? 
No, no, please, Nigerians. No money has been have taken out. Have we gone wrong in have, doing have that? Money? No money to Minister of Women Affairs. Things were different as it is today. What they were doing before and what we no, changed. No, madam, on this matter, on this matter, how you don't I, know anything on it. How can I start where you people are without me saying the things we changed and why things are different? No, 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 things no, are no, different. no, no, no. Then no, I'm not no, giving no, a fair no. hearing here. We I should be giving a fair hearing. Matter. The subject no, no, matter. No, you can't jump to that and matter. tell me subject matter. I should be giving a fair hearing here. I have the right to explain myself. How do I put that is a right. Yes, you want to say something? Um, Minister, the chairperson was very clear right from the word go that this is not an exercise to which hunt anybody. What the committee is interested in is to get explanation on certain areas of reservations. I think uh, it will do us well if we restrict ourselves to, the, you will have an opportunity if you want to have an engagement with the committee on things that you're doing the changes you are bringing to the ministry, we can provide another forum to have that engagement. This is specifically target, targeted at certain areas of reservation. And uh, I, with that said, I think uh, what I may want to add, is especially um, uh, to, to the permanent secretary, who is the chief accounting officer of the ministry, I think we should be able to, we should have guided the minister properly. Any budget item that is resident in your ministry, the ministry have full responsibility and should be able to give account on it. Whether or not it's attached to the, uh, to the office of the first lady or not, whatever it is that is a budget line item under your ministry should take full responsibility and ensure that whatever it is that you do, is done, you have records on them. The impression that is is attached to the office of the first lady. I don't think it's something that should be presented at this level. It's not tenable at, at, at this level. The, the ministry should be able to give full account because when monies were released, they were not released to the office of the first lady. It was released to the ministry to procure and engage a contractor to execute. So you should take full responsibility of how the monies were expended. Whether or not the monies were released or have been released yet is immaterial. But everything that is in your budget, take full control and full responsibility of it. That's the message. Thank you very much. Yeah. Yeah. So, I'm saying, as if there is a target. We, we are, you people are not being fair to me. Because you can't jump Madam into Minister, something. Madam Minister, what do you want? Is, what do you want? Allow me to speak. Speak. That we have been asking want. you to speak. You say you, you don't won't know. allow me. Oh, yeah, when speak. I start to speak, speak. you push oh, yeah, speak. and you won't get speak. me to speak. But I'll go straight to the issue at hand. We don't no, want you why, to take why, it as Why around. jump to that particular issue? This award contract has not been given. They have not done anything. Money has not been paid. Why this? Why is it? Is it, is it a trap? That what? Is it a trap? Is it a trap? Uh, thank you very much, uh, Madam Two States. Honorable Minister, this committee you are seeing here, I believe, if you can recall vividly, we are trying to help or to save the ministry and Nigeria at large on the disappointment that we expect will happen in this country. Why? Because I'm, I say we are trying to help you or help the ministry. I hope the minister can listen to me. I'm not targeting for any negative meaning. So what I, what I said, Madam Minister, this committee, as you are seeing here, it has been mentioned separately. We are not here to hunt anybody. We are trying to intervene as Nigerians representative. You are representing a particular portion of this country who are equally appointed or uh, elected to come and represent Nigerians. This representation is to safeguard, to protect the interests of Nigeria. This issue of contractors today, it has started for long, even from Sokoto, I have somebody whom the ministry is owing a huge amount of money. So contractors gather to hear and report this issue. 
We are not saying we are going to capture the money immediately. But where is the money in order to save this ministry for embarrassment? Because I believe as a Nigerian, where you, you see what is going on in the Nigeria. These contractors can start to organize themselves and storm into your ministry. But I believe if there is any meaningful explanation in this in the National Assembly, we will definitely suck this problem and you, you will sleep with two eyes on your bed. So try to, we are not here to, we shan't to in any way, but let us understand what we are doing. Everybody here knows that our, minist our ministry is, uh, uh, we, we don't have funds, we are underfunded. I came here, immediately I assumed office, I met no penny in that ministry, but I must have to deliver something in 100 days as the target, deliverable target. And I w came to our chairman, I explained my predicament to, him, to her, and she said that we're going to help us to get funds. At the end of the day, it did not work. At the, at, at the end of the day, it did not work. We are underfunded. There are so many things that come into that ministry, like travels that you'll be ordered from the presidency to go. You have to fund it from the ministry when it was not appropriated for. And those things must be done. That was why some of these issues came up. And that's one of the reasons we have on ongoing projects for funds for 2024. If not that they didn't release these monies on time, all these things would, be, would have been a thing of the past. I expected that a good understanding, knowing what the Minister of Women Affairs has been going through. I'm going out of my way to make sure with the directors and the PAMSEC that we achieve something for Nigerian women, knowing how they are suffering. Everybody is suffering. We know that. But we are all from that APC party and the government at large working towards solving these issues. So I was thinking that what we came here to do, how do we solve the problems? Because we are not here, how do we solve the problems? And I have a solution, I have a solution to how we solve the problems. The, the, the director, I have a solution to how we solve this problem. When those their contracts were awarded, I was not there. It was awarded about around uh, uh, March, May, March to May and I was not there. But when I came in, like I said, I made no money. I must have to look into things before we forge ahead. And I saw so many things that does not comp uh, 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 concur with the renewed hope agenda that I was brought in to do the work. I called them and we changed the narratives. We've been doing so many works that are not just contracts. And I was thinking with time, we will organize ourselves and pay them. So the, the machines we have supplied and all that, nobody misappropriated any money, not to my knowledge. But I know there are so many things, like this last year, this year now, they put only nine million for my travel. But how many times have I gone on official travel, directed that from President? Hey, Honorable Minister, day? you are going off. I wanted to allow you to I referenced no, but please, to, I referenced just, the contract. Please, I did. I didn't interrupt you. Just hold on, please. Honorable Member, please, go ahead. Uh, you know, Nigeria are not that. Even the more you talk, the more you open the can, uh, the, 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 the can of worms. Because, no, let me, please, hold on. The question we have to interrupt you, anybody very, very when they are speaking, please. You did not answer this question. You are saying what you are. When the, even the issue of contractors is not, has not come up yet, we've not asked question on that. The first question, the only member, you did not answer that. If you are saying you try your best to, the money this contractor, when you, I want to make reference to what you have said now because I just picked from what you have said. If you say the contractor deliver my, uh, their jobs and there is no money. Has they not paid the money to the ministry, ministry's uh, post? Where is the money? What did you use the money for? Did you use the money for the project that's supposed to be used for? You that is the question. Please, to that. The papers. No, no, please, please, please. I am telling you, when you are in this public hearing like this, Mr. Chairman, I think you need to, uh, 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 Minister, you need to calm down. Yes. You need to calm down. The people here. You are talking to Nigeria. You need to calm down. I'm being respectful. Just right, calm yourself down and make sure that you. Because the more you go to different different angles, you bring more issues. <laughs> Nobody is saying you should you are not working. Nobody is saying is saying you are working. If you are saying that the budget and uh, they, they've done you allocated the job to people, they have done it. Have they paid from the Akantan General Office to your ministry? 
If they are paid, what did you use the money for? They should not pay their money. Like that. Like that. To the ministry, if they have released the money to the, uh, the accountant general's office has released the money to the ministry, where is the money? That's the question. For, fortunately, we came with the details. How monies were paid, who it was paid to, we came with it and it has been submitted. No, but please. To that. Yes. The question is, the monies for these contractors, 2023, yes. was the money appropriated for released to the ministry's account, yes or no? The money that was Yes or no? I cannot answer yes. Yes or no? That is the question. Was the money released to the ministry's account? Yes or no? From the account and general yes or no? Okay, don't worry. Because the money was not fully released. The money was not fully released. Thank you, minister. Please, thank you. Thank you. No, no, please. The money, sorry, please. The monies that was appropriated for 2023. From the accountant general's office, was it released to the uh, to the account of the, of the Ministry of Women Affairs? Yes or no? Only percent. What was this used for? The details are in the jacket. Okay, the details, date by date, cover by cover. Okay, okay. you know it's uh, about 260 pages. Except you want me to start reading it. Uh, the exemptive summary is what we have uh, as a cover note. Is there on the jacket? It is at the jacket. That is on from page we, we one. We were told. Can you tell us what you use the money for? We want to know. Okay. Nigerians want to know. Okay, okay ma. There was a, a payment of a, 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 for a fund of a, a activities surrounding the one-stop one center, that is shelter in Kurudu, Abuja. There was also payment. You know, you know this, this is the breakdown. The voucher will show the total amount. But you know, from the letter we got, you wanted the breakdown, not the voucher. So, there is, but it's, it's, uh, it's uh, multiple. No, I have, but you don't charge one uh, appropriation vote to one voucher. They come in multiple vouchers as the activity is gone. Okay. Okay, ma. You are the chief accountant of the Ministry of Women Affairs. Ah, still there you are a minister. So the committee ought to know the total release you have received for your contractors, the talisman used for those contractors, after completing their job, the payment will not be done to them. So when you see money from finance, there will be a document that sent from the Minister of Finance to you, who you are supposed to deliver that into the committee. Thank you. Is the DFA with us? At this session. DFA, last week, when we had this kind of session with you, you remember vividly well. Madam Minister, Madam Minister, it would be very good that you listen because we were not here last week. And your staff and directors, they said a lot of things that because we were not here, it would be good for you to listen. So let me recap on some of the things we were saying. The DFA made us to understand that his principal, you, are the one that directs him on the contractors to pay? You said principal. You said your principal, your principals are the ones that direct him to pay or not to pay. And then who, who are his principals? That automatically means you and the PAMSEC. And the PAMSEC also made us to understand that he was newly posted to the ministry. So he could be aware of some of the things that 
took place when he came on board and not prior to his coming on board. So now, we're talking about the contractors who are crying out for help. And the contractors who had executed their jobs that wrote these petitions that were not paid. And he said his principals asked him not to pay. Now, out of the 1.5 billion, 500 million naira received and has been released to the ministry in 2023, why was this fund misappropriated and used for payments that were not even for contracts that were not captured in the 2023 appropriation bill? Also, act. also he made us to understand that it is only this, either you or he or the PAMSEC, that will authorize him to make this payment. Why were they not paid? As a woman, as a mother, why were these poor Nigerians? If you look at their money, five point something million, even a widow is in their midst. And she was crying. Why were they not paid? Where people with bogus, gigantic contract sums were paid their money. In, some, in, in your document submitted to this, our committee, I'm an uh, honorable minister on the document, page 208, you made mention of spending, 208, you made mention of spending 45 million Naira for the New Year celebration for children, children New Year. I mean, is it on one occasion, or you have distributed it to, you know, various states for children to celebrate their New Year? That is my first question. Second, you spend 20 million Naira for the purchase of baby soaps baby nets, sanitary pad, in respect of New Year again, new, 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 new Year baby. Is it, is, it, is it the single, I don't know, is that money appropriated? And who is the lucky, who, who is the lucky mother that, 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 that got that sum? And where? And uh, you know, some, some, there are some fabulous trips 1.5 million naira for just for a car. I don't know, maybe is it, is it cross country or trans -Hara? I can't really see where 1.5 million naira will be used for fueling only one vehicle. An number of states 1.5 million naira is in page 141. Then there are so many spending, you know in appendix of your pages, you know, on budgeted internal, international trips, you know, if you check page 108, 139, 140, 156, 160, 130, 138, you know, there are so many trips that maybe you were arguing that only you knows how you source, how to, you know, sponsor your trips. But the, you made mention in this, your document, that there are so many trips that they might not be appropriated. So, Honorable Minister, I want you to calm down and explain to us. Just calm down. Explain to us. We are all working for Nigerians. And uh, we will support you to achieve this your renewed hope agenda. We will support you, even if it weren't for us to write to the budget ministry that your budget, you have justified to us that you need increment in your envelope. We will do that. But all we need is working synergy. Without that, if you cannot give us that space, I don't think we can work together. Like if we look at this um, uh, deep miss expenditure, you know there are uh, there is one 1.5 billion naira 
you know, we are just thinking there are some crony, you know, it's not well clear. So my own is for you to justify all those funds that you made mention in your document, clarify them, let's work together, let's see how we will support your ministry and, you know, the people of Nigerians. Thank you, Thank you very much. Thank you. On 20, I was not there. I was attacked. Like 2023. 2023. No, no, you said that I said 2020, I was not there. And you said you took an excuse. I'm just trying to put something straight. Mm. Then the, the contracts, on the issue of the contract, even the ones given while I was there, they have not been paid. Yes, they have not been paid. So there is no partiality here except that we are underfunded. We don't have money. They have not been paid. That's why we moved the ongoing project to this year's budget so that they will be able to pay them. Number two, I am not the chief accounting officer. I am the executive officer. And I depend on people around me to tell me how things are done in their departments. And the issue of the first lady's office is on airport road, no address as it is. So I knew it was on airport road, on airport road, but I did not start going there to start working with them or to sit down there. Then the issue of, um, so the, no contract has been paid. The only money paid so far was only 30%. The other money till date has not been paid. The issue of 1.4 million for Anambra State. Minister, thirty percent is it for recurrent your recurrent um, uh, uh, expenditure or from for capital, the contract? From capital. From capital. Yes, okay. sir. Then the one point four million to Anambra State. We all know the amount air, air flights are. If you pay for three people, including myself, one point four million in normal circumstances couldn't even cover it. That was what you wrote. How much is one person to and fro? And I'm allowed to go. Even then, I was allowed to go with four people. It's only recently well, the president. It's not five. It's not five. Well, no, it, it won't be only fueling. If it's an ambassador, it can't be only fueling. Eh? It can't be only fueling because I, I flew. Uh, my, my, some of my aides flew. And the market. The document you submitted, maybe you have both of them. Thank you, Honorable Minister. And if even one point Thank four you, million Minister. to fuel about five, four, six vehicles, it's still not much to go and come. Because we go with the, the bus, we go, my vehicle, we go, other heloxes, we go, pilot vehicles, some vehicles that will carry some of the directors, we go. It's still not too much to fuel a vehicle. The, the vehicles, to, well, you know how much fuel was costing even before now. It's only 1.4 million we're talking about. Honorable Thank Minister. you, Honorable Minister. Okay, please.